Greetings, Life Group leaders. Doug Dayton here, and I just wanted to take a few moments and share a video with you on how you can utilize Fellowship One to monitor the health of your group and to mark the attendance after your group meets. So whenever your group meets, for those of you that are signed up for Fellowship One that have registered as group leaders, you should receive an email that looks something like this. It says post attendance reminder for whatever the name of your group is. And then it'll, it'll give you a couple of link options here. One of them will be where you can post the attendance. The other one is if your group did not meet. Now, they both take you to the same place, but if you just want to make a quick annotation that your group has not met, then the second link will work for you. But I'm going to go ahead and take you through what it looks like if you're going to mark the attendance, first of all, to get us started. So you can highlight that and copy, then open a browser and paste that in the browser. That's control V if you're on Windows and Mac guys, you're on your own. So if you're logged into Fellowship One, it'll automatically take you to your page. If you are, if your group did not meet, all you have to do is click did not meet. If your group did meet, then you just go through here and select the group members that met. And at the bottom of the page, you click save attendance. And ladies and gentlemen, that is just how simple and easy that it is for you to mark the attendance for your group when it met. So, you might be saying, well, Doug, what if I did not receive that email? How do I possibly go through and check to see my group attendance, see the prospects and stuff like that? I'm so glad you asked. I'm going to go ahead and sign out so that you can see what this looks like. So there are a couple of ways to get here. You can click on that link that was in your email, but if you cannot find it, you can always go to trinitychurch.infellowship.com or you can type in trinityupdate.com and it will take you to the same page. That's kind of a shortcut to get there. When you get to this page, then you have the option to log in. Now, if for some reason you're a group leader and you have not signed up for Fellowship One, you have to. That is of vital importance. So what you do is you go down to right here and you click the sign up button. It'll take you through a series of screens. All you have to do is enter your information and then email me at ddayton at trinitytoday.com and let me know that you have signed up for an in-fellowship account. I will link that to your account as a group leader, and then you'll start receiving the emails, and you'll have the access to log in and see things. So all you have to do is follow the prompts. It's a pretty easy ordeal. So for those of you that are already signed up, you just enter your email address that you have associated with your in fellowship account and your password and then when you click sign in it's going to take you to a page and there are some awesome tools that are available for you the first one is if you want to check your giving you can click right there you can see your giving records if you're looking for another group to get involved in other than the one you're le leading you can click find a group you can look at a directory you can update your privacy settings for what you want people to be able to see and this is so awesome because it, for those of you that would like to uh, limit the access that people that are browsing through group, groups have, then all you have to do is just edit those settings right here. And uh, you can play with these settings and see how you would like for your group members to be able to see. I have my access set up to where everybody can see everything because I'm a pastor and people need to get a hold of me. But let's say that your group members, you wanted them to have your email address, but not your phone number. You would just move that all the way back. That is as easy and simple as it is to edit your privacy settings. So let's go to your homepage. If you click that right there. Now you can also update your information. This is one of the things I would like to encourage each and every one of you as a group meter member to do. Um, when you click on update your profile, you can even add pictures 
You can add the preferred phone number. You can add the email address that you like. You can edit your address. You can even add social networks that you're a part of. So do that. That's going to be super important. Uh, I would especially encourage you to take a little picture and upload it so that your group members can see you. So let's go back to the home page. Now, it's time for the nitty gritty. Your groups. Let's say that you want to monitor the health of your groups. Now, I'm going to go down here to the Trinity Outreach Group because that's probably the most active one that we got. Here are some of the tools that you have available to you, and this is so awesome. You should be using this. Okay, roster. If you want to see the people that are a part of your group, you can click this link. And sometimes Fellowship One does take just a moment. So if you get this screen right here that says error, that does not necessarily mean that there's something wrong with your group. Go back and try to do it again because so many times it just takes a second and it bogs down. Give it another moment. Go back, try again. See, voila. Even though I got an error, that does not mean that um, it's not, not working. Okay, so I'm going to blur all of my group members' information out, but you can see that you've got your group members here. So there are a couple of things that you have available to you. If you have a prospect or someone that you're interested in joining your group, you can click View Prospects. In this group right now, I have no prospects, but let's say that there's someone that I know that I've met at church that has been asking questions about my group, then what you can do is you can click add or invite someone to join your group. This is such a powerful tool. All that you have to do is type that person's name. Let's say that we've got Doogie Dayton, and his email address is pastordougdayton at gmail.com. 806-928-2821. That's my real information if any of y'all guys do need to get a hold of me. So, you click Next. And what it will do is it will add this person. If they're in Fellowship One and it finds that email address, it's so awesome. It will add them and then you can choose whether you want to add them to the group or send them an invite. If you add them to the group, then it will immediately include them on your roster. And uh, if you send them an invite, it will email them and ask them if they would like for you to join, like to join the group. And there are a whole other set of um, there are a whole other set of tools that you can use to monitor the prospects. So I want to do send an invite instead of uh, just adding them to the group. So I'm going to type I would like to invite you to join. Send invite. Okay. And that was, if you'll see right up here, invitation sent. All right. So now what that's going to do is that's going to add them as a prospect in your group. Now I'm going to go back to my group. You'll notice that we have a prospect now. You've got a whole tab for prospects. And this right here is one of the coolest tools available to use a life group leader. Because when you click on the prospect tab, you can see this person and you can click in. And then you can monitor what you've done. If you've had an email that you sent to them, you can, uh, or if you'd like to send an email, you can click them. If you'd like to make a phone call, you can click that. If you met face to face, you can click this. And whatever you do, it will give you an opportunity to monitor what you've done and add notes. So for your assistant group leaders or anybody else that, that might be interested in, in helping out monitoring the people that are interested in your group, this is a tremendous resource. Let's say that you called them. What happened? Uh, I left a message and uh, never called back. Save it. So now, Whenever we go back to the prospects page, I'm going to click off of it real quick.
Now you can see the note. This will really help you to close the gaps, to tighten the net for the people that you are helping join in, in your group, and it will help you grow your group and be faithful steward of your group members. So that's just one of the uh, one of the things that are available to you. Let's say that you missed marking your attendance and you need to mark your attendance. You can actually see your group attendance right here on this page by simply clicking that attendance page. Uh, if you want to check an individual, you can click on people and you can see. Give it just a second. Hopefully we don't get an error. Okay, so now whenever this pops up, you will see all of your group members. You will see a little dot for whenever they have attended, and you will see a blank dot whenever they did not attend. So that means they were here. That means they were not. And this is a great way to follow up with people that maybe have not come to your group in a couple of months that you want to check in on. If you want to go to any of their records to pull up their information, just click on their name, and it will pull up their phone number, their address, their email, and then you can simply reach out to them. And let's say that you wanted to send them an invite, uh, an email. All that you have to do is click send an email. You can choose who you specifically want to send it to. Let's say that you wanted to send one to Char. If you want to do the whole group, it's easy. You just click that, but type your email. This is, Now, this is a text only, so if you want to attach a graphic or something like that, it won't work. This is great for just entering basic information or any information that you need to go to the whole group or individuals. This will speed up the process. So that is just an idea of what you can do. Let's go back to attendance for one moment. Again, if you get the error... Just back it up, click it again. Let's say for just a second that there was someone that attended your group on one of your at one of your meetings that you did not happen to notice that you didn't mark present for one of your groups. It's easy to go back and edit. All that you have to do is click into your groups, go down to the group that they were a part of, and then on the attendance tab, you click enter attendance and then select the date. If it's a past date, that's okay. You can go ahead and edit it. Let's say that for this date, you realized, you know what? Doug Dayton was, was there and I just didn't happen to catch him. You just go down and you'll notice that I was marked here. If I was uh, not present, then you would click this tab I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, here's someone that was not there. Betty wasn't there. I'm going to go ahead and add Betty for that service or for that uh, that meeting. And then all that you have to do is at the very bottom of the page, click Save Attendance. And voila, your attendance was updated. So ladies and gentlemen, this is just a few of the tools that we have available for Fellowship One. I'm so glad that you have made the commitment to be a life group leader this will really help you to tighten the net to be an efficient small group leader and to monitor the health of your group. If you have any questions whatsoever, you can always feel free to contact me. My email address is ddayton, D-D-A-Y-T-O-N, at trinitytoday.com. Or you can call me on my cell or text me at 806-928-2821. That's 806-928-2821. Thank you so much. God bless you and have a fantastic day.